Go ahead, Max. Notre Dame game, boys. Um, I have a couple get off my lawn to order out to you boys and really the national media uh, okay. living here in okay. Columbus. I can't Only wait. hearing positive things come out in this area. So the first I'm thing, sure. get off my lawn, Kyle McCord haters or doubters. <laughs> okay. And get off my what? lawn to Ohio State doubters. Mm-hmm. I'm going to read a it. couple f- stats real quick here. Go ahead. Kyle McCord has 1,815 passing yards. Mm -hmm. 70% completion rate Mm -hmm. uh, percentage, six Mm -hmm. touchdowns and an interception. Drew Aller, the golden boy, has a 67% 67 completion percentage, 59 of 88 for 737 with four touchdowns. And J.J. McCarthy, who threw three picks to my alma mater, Bowling Green, last week, um, he's got a good uh, completion percentage of 82% for 700 yards. But I think Kyle McCord should be in that same conversation, at least with Drew Aller right now. Maybe not J.J. McCarthy, um, what he did last year. Mm-hmm. But, and then, so yeah, get off my lawn with all that nonsense <laughs> that I'm uh, hearing. Max. And then, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yep. No, no go ahead. Good. Keep going. Uh, well, look. Okay. <clears throat> so then I have, a, I have a matchup to watch that I haven't heard many people talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, the interior of Ohio State's defensive line against uh, the weaker part of uh, Notre Dame's really good offensive line. They're guards. Yeah. Um, I think Michael Hall and Tyreek Williams are going to have a big day. And I have a final score prediction of thirty-eight to twenty-four with the Buckeyes coming out on top. Uh, Kyle McCord is going to show out on the national stage, and the defense is going to have a couple key turnovers uh, from yeah. Sam Hartman. Man, if they get to thirty-eight, here's here's what I'll say. Uh, nobody here hates Kyle McCord. Uh, I, I think Kyle McCord has a chance to be a good player. Mm-hmm. I just I, I I don't think he is to the level. And, and he shouldn't be right now, of what Ohio State has had recently. We're still finding out about Kyle McCord. The story is still being written. I don't want to sit here and try and, and tell the final chapter when I just got done with the prologue. So we're going to find out more about Kyle McCord this week. And let's look at who they played. Indiana, okay, who's, uh, look, Tom Allen's probably getting fired after this year. Not that they're the worst team in the world. Western Kentucky's defense is one of the worst defenses in the country. I think we can agree with that. If you look at Ohio State's schedule, Youngstown State, I mean, let's be honest, their mascot's the Penguins. I love Penguins. I would love to have one as a pet, but I'm not, I don't think they can stop Ohio State. And that game was tight for a while. We don't know about Kyle McCord has Marvin Harrison Jr., Kyle McCord has Igbuka, Kyle McCord has Stover. You got two good backs. You are replacing both your tackles and your center, but Ohio State has quality players up front. We don't know about Kyle McCord yet. I know about JJ McCarthy more than I know about Kyle McCord. Drew Aller. I think we can put him in that same category. I think you're exactly right on that. I think Drew's going to be a phenomenal player down the road, but I've harped on on Penn State not being able to hit explosive plays, and that's a big problem for Drew Aller, too. I think their receivers have to step up as well, but he doesn't have Marvin Harrison Jr. He doesn't have Egbuka. Kyle McCord's out here riding around in Dubai with a golden Corvette. So we'll find out about Kyle McCord very quickly, but Max, there's no reason for you not to be confident. I mean, hell, Ohio State really does never lose, so I get it, and I get that there's a lot of positivity coming out in Columbus. Sure. There's a lot of positivity coming out in Auburn this week going to play Texas A&M, but I don't feel great about that one either, brother. So uh, I get it. You may end up being right, 38-24. That's yeah. a lot more high scoring than I have. Could for sure end up being right, but Max, you certainly have to understand why there's so much excitement coming out of Notre Dame right now, right? I mean, the last few seasons, what I said yesterday is the last couple seasons, the Buckeyes would just out-athlete Notre Dame, and this would just be a cool game because of the brand matchups, right? And maybe that's what happened Saturday, and maybe your score prediction will be right. But now Notre Dame seems to have similar athletes running around the field and has an established quarterback when they get to face the Buckeyes who are finally starting a freshman. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not as interested in hearing about completion percentages and yardages with the offensive talent that y'all have playing against Youngstown State. And I said the same thing when people used to write me in about J.J. McCarthy having an 80% completion percentage early in the season last year. I'm like, I don't care. Go on the road in Columbus and win the game. Yeah. And he did. that. So this is the type of moment Kyle McCord needs if he wants to be a household name. Uh, Max, I do want to say this, man. That's that's a great matchup you're talking about, the interior Ohio State's defensive line versus the interior Notre Dame's uh, offense line. You obviously did your homework. You're winning the water cooler, my friend, and we appreciate it. Yeah, of course. And I yeah, I definitely do think with the Drew Aller, Kyle McCord thing, that they are a lot more comparable than J.J. McCarthy. And then the last thing that I just do want to say is that I think um, with the athletes, I do think Notre Dame has a lot better athletes than they do in the past. I still think Ohio State's a little bit above that. They, I yeah, I agree. I agree. 
I, I have seen Sam Hartman make some big mistakes in these games, and mm-hmm. I think a couple is going to just cost him in this game. So that's why I have that. Yeah. You're right uh, on all those points. And and, and throw in Audric Estime will put the ball on the turf, yeah, will. too. I mean, if, if the Buckeyes can make Sam Hartman throw an interception and maybe get a fumble or two from Audric Estime, this thing could run away quickly. For sure. And Notre Dame's not built to catch back up. That's not, that's not how they're built. But, Max, thanks so much, man. Call in again Max. next week. Appreciate it, man. I don't care if you're running man. I don't care if you're running zone. I don't care if you're bringing pressure or not. I'm going to tell you what what always works out. Good ranchers. That's a fact. All right? It's tailgating season. All right? And there's no better way to celebrate Separation Saturday or just a great Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We got football all the time. Monday as well. We're going to get into action and fun belt uh, action here later. And with good ranchers, you can take one big worry off your plate. And that's having quality, 100% American source meat delivered right to your door. Because you care about what your family eats, and so does Good Ranchers. Nope. That's why they spent years building relationships with local farms to source the best. Like we said, this isn't over, coming over here uh, from, from Austria, okay? You're getting this from, from Austria, Tennessee, you know? Like, you're getting this is American source. I've been there. And right now, they're offering two years of free ground beef to anyone that subscribes. All right, two years of free ground beef. All right, that's a $480 value. That's incredible. Okay, so go to GoodRanchers.com today and use our code BOOSTER, B-O-O-S-T-E-R, for $25 off and free ground beef for two years. Remember, subscribe to any box to lock in your price on America's Best Meat for two whole years as well. That's GoodRanchers.com and use our code BOOSTER, B-O-O-S-T-E-R, for over $500 in savings. Subscribe to Good Ranchers, American Meat delivered. Going to have some of that this week. I'm having it tonight. Reed, the wife, is going to absolutely whip it up. Yeah. Hello there, YouTube. Hey, appreciate you getting us over 100,000. Now we want 100 trillion to help take over the world. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. Turn that notification bell on and join us. It's a great party. We appreciate you.